Hey guys, welcome back to my show. I'm your host, Amin Dillon, and today I've got a very special treat for you. Arjun is back. I know you guys loved the last interview I did with him, and he's back on the show to give us an update on what his life has been like this year. He's also giving us a special preview on the new music that he's been working on during the pandemic. So this is going to be a very, very special treat for all you diehard Arjun fans. So let's get right into it. Here's my latest interview with Arjun. Hey, what's up? I'm Amin Dillon and welcome to my podcast. I'm sitting down with the movers and shakers and the stars to chat about life, love, business, and being a total boss. It's raw, it's candid, it's the stories behind the headlines. This is In Conversation. Arjun, so good to have you back on the show. You've been, we've been missing you. It's been two years, so this is long overdue. How are you feeling? Good. Well, actually, not not great. Uh, <laughs> um, we, just, we just entered our, our fourth lockdown of the year, so or third lockdown of the year in the UK. So pretty grim. Looks like a, a pretty bo- pretty boring Christmas to be had here. How's things in, in Toronto? Uh, boring as well. That's why we need artists like you entertaining us. So thank you for working on new music. I know it's probably not been easy trying to adjust, but I know a lot of people have been turning to TV and music and just the arts to yeah. get through this, right? Yeah, it's been a very strange period. Obviously, like this year was was, was meant to be like a a year of, uh, of touring for the world. Really, I had a, had a, had a whole kind of world tour planned out. Uh, which got, got scrapped sadly. Uh, so I think the last show I did was actually probably the the, the, the Tash concert for for, for N- N- Natasha in Feb. And then, oh no, sorry, I think I went, I went to Africa after that for like for a weekend, and then after that, the rest of it was just was has been here. So I think I mean it's, it's been a, a strange shift from like touring to India and Africa to, to like touring from the bedroom to the bathroom to the kitchen. <laughs> that's like that's the only un- real uh, touring I've done. So yeah, it's been been weird. But I had a chance to kind of get get back into the kind of creative zone, kind of create create, create some new tunes. Uh, I kind of got back into produ- producing music as well. So I, I took a break from producing for a while, and I actually had time to kind of get back in back in the in the studio and kind of re relearn all the skills <laughs> to kind of uh, self produce my own stuff. And I shot a few kind of bedroom videos. One like shot one in the bedroom, shot one in the, in the kitchen, <laughs> one in the one on the terrace. So I've been try, trying to find places to to shoot in the house. So yeah, it's mm-hmm. been fun. Okay, so let's go back. So I know it's been a while since we uh, caught up. So I remember uh, everyone was so excited when you released about, you know, a year ago, over a year ago, Tingo with Mickey Singh. You know, it was your big song after a long time. I know your fans were like so happy. And I know you must have had, you were saying a world tour and everything going into 2020. So give us an idea. So new music, projects, tours, like... 2020, I'm sure you start off all optimistic that you're back. You're going to be back, you know, performing, meeting your fans, who I know you love meeting mm-hmm. on the road. And then COVID hits, then the lockdown comes. So just for you personally, how was that adjustment? How are you feeling when you realize your plans were basically on hold? Yeah, I mean, very, very strange, really. I think initially it was just kind of, kind of shocked. So I think the first month I kind of just spent doing doing not, not, not much, but just kind of watching Netflix, <laughs> just kind of chilling out, actually um because i hadn't had a break for a while i think i'd, I'd, I'd been in quite a kind of stressful six month period of touring like non-stop from like about yeah around the tingo release in september till about march was like non-stop so um and obviously i've been touring with with uh with mickey as well we, we did like a, a few like joint shows um and like yeah a, a bunch of award ceremonies and parties and it was, it was a very very hectic period so I, I kind of felt like it was quite nice just to be at home for like for, for a bit initially and then i got, got bored after <laughs> after like a week or two but pretty pretty boring but um yeah so i think from around April, May, I began to learn how to shoot my own kind of home videos uh, with my with my camera at home, which was, which is a quite quite a, a good skill to learn actually. To be fair, I uh, learned to cook, which I have not done before. <laughs> actually, well, when I say cook, it's like cooking like avocado toast type things. Not really <laughs> nothing nothing crazy. So, um, but yeah, I had my kind of mum on Facetime. I, I learned a few. I, I learned to cook chicken curry. That, that, that was pretty, pretty pretty decent. I mean, with her on Facetime, not on my own. So. Uh, so yeah, learned some life skills in lockdown for sure, and then yeah, be- began kind of dropping these mashed up kind of. I think my original sound was always this kind of Hindi English fusion stuff. I hadn't done that for a while. I was doing more kind of I guess more Punjabi and more English kind of R and B stuff, and I hadn't done like a I guess I hadn't done a cover for a while. So it was it was nice to kind of get back to my roots, 
I did a, did a few kind of Bollywood mashups. Um, and then, yeah, and then I think around end of summer, things opened up again in the UK. So I think around June, we, we left the lockdown and we, we were allowed to shoot kind of, I mean, more, I mean, still distanced, but kind of but shoot kind of more big, big, big budget videos from June, June, July. So I shot a new single, which just came out, uh, came out last month, was it? Mm -hmm. Lost track of time. And then, yeah, and, and then shot two more videos, which should be coming out pretty soon as well. Amazing. So we've got two more professionally shot music videos to look forward to. Yes. yes. I mean, the thing is, it was, it was still a weird experience. Obviously, everything had to be distanced. So, I mean, with like, with a kind of, a, with the party scene in that video, it was, it was very spaced out. If you could see, like, it was pretty, pretty boring party. <laughs> it was kind of like spaced apart, but yeah. So yeah, shot two more videos and got an album coming as well. So I've been, been working away on an album, uh, which was actually really, really fun. I think for me as a producer, I hadn't really had a chance to kind of just, just have time just to kind of, because I think, when you're when you're touring all the time kind of you feel like there's like a few days that then, then then a flight then then again you know whereas this has been like six months or like nine months of like of no traveling so i've been able to kind of get into more of a, of a creative zone and just just have fun really in the studio just just kind of i spent literally like days on my own just like in a trance like you know in a kind of like a zombie trance mm -hmm. making beats so yeah so are you saying, do you think this lockdown has been good for you in terms of just being able to give you that time to just think because i remember last yeah. time you told me that too one of the things that's hard for you guys uh that's different from let's say western artists is western oh. artists lock themselves into their studio for like six months whatever focus yes. on the new album get it out you guys have to mm -hmm. balance single then touring then maybe yeah. shooting something then back in the studio and so you were saying that one of the struggles i remember you were saying this uh is trying to just stay focused and mm -hmm. kind of understanding you know having your mind in the game so i kind of feel like in a way this was a blessing for you yeah, I think definitely it's been a blessing in terms of the fact that, yeah, I mean, I think I think six months would have been enough. <laughs> I think like a whole, a whole year is a bit too much. I think <laughs> by the time we kind of get back to doing shows, it might be like middle of next year, I think, probably realistically. So, I mean, I'm, I'm getting inquiries now because of, of the vaccine. We're actually getting quite, quite a few show inquiries for kind of like March, April type time. Oh. So we're hoping that, I mean, I think some countries in the world have, have, have managed it quite well, like Dubai um places like in asia actually weirdly have, have done better than i mean like obviously like in in the far east it's been it's been quite well contained i think america and the uk are probably the two worst actually <laughs> canada's not, not too bad from what i've heard but um but yeah so i think we we should be hopefully able, able to be back on tour in march but still like that's a year of of uh, of uh, being creative which is a bit too, too long i think <laughs> i think like half a year is enough for sure Okay, so you're ready to get out there. So can you kind of give us an idea of the new music, the album? So first of all, is the album complete or do you think you're going to add some more songs on there? Um, I've done all the, I mean, I've, I've kind of got the skeletons of all the songs. I haven't, I haven't finished uh, the entire production of it, but it's pretty much like 90% there. Okay. Um, there's a few, few, few features like collaborations on, which I'm waiting for, for their parts to come in still. <laughs> um, standard. And um, yeah, so I think... I'm hoping to finish it all, wrap it up by like maybe like Jan and then release it, I guess, Feb, March, type sort of time. Let's see. Perfect. This, I mean, I, I always say like, they see timing. So I don't want to do it. I'm like, say, say Jan, it might be March, April. Let's see. Let's see. Hopefully by March. Okay. So I know from having interviewed before, your fans are yeah. die hard. So don't leave them waiting too long. Like, yeah. this is probably all they're looking forward to. They're probably like, 2020, terrible year for us. But Arjun has promised that in the beginning of 2021, we will get yeah. new music. So get on it, buddy. Okay. Don't let us down. <laughs> pressure, pressure, I guess. For sure. <laughs> um, so, can you give us an idea of the sound? So, obviously, you've had yeah. so many amazing experiences. You've met so many great artists. And it's cool because now you were mentioning before you've done some Punjabi urban mix, mm -hmm. but your new single is actually your first time singing in Punjabi, right? So, I was like, yeah. look at you trying to get into the Punjabi community. We love you. So, come on over. <laughs> um, what yeah, can we so expect from the next singles? Are you going to be experimenting? Are you going to be maybe collaborating with somebody that we totally don't expect? Are you going to do a different sort of theme? Yeah. Yeah, so the album is basically, I guess, um, I, I call it like quite a world influence album. It's got a lot of kind of like world sounds, like kind of Afro African, Caribbean. Um, it's a bit more, I guess, global sounding. It's still got obviously a very Desi vibe to it. Almost every song has a, a fusion element to it. Um, I myself, I'm singing a little bit in Punjabi and Hindi, but I'm kind of singing more more of the English. And I've got a few feature artists on that. Um, probably shouldn't name them yet, just in case. I mean, let's see. And, but they're, they're all kind of known known people that you can that, drop that, hints. That, you know, Sorry? You can drop hints. <laughs> uh, one or two from North America. So I don't know if you can work that out from that. Rihanna. Um, yeah, so. Sorry? Rihanna. 
No, 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 not 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 that level, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> um, not Rihanna, no, that that would be good. Um, no, like a Daisy artist, I meant. But um, yeah, so mm. the, the album should be like, I guess it, it, it's quite a fun, weirdly, even though it's been written in lockdown where I've been at home, it's like, it's, it's quite like a, I guess like a feel good, um, feel good kind of clubby. Uh, it's more like a, it's more like a party album, really. It's, it's not, it's not super super party. It's more like. It's like a vibey, it's a vibey album. <laughs> Not to describe it really, but um, yeah. So I, I, I've been doing lots of these kind of sensey, emotional ballads uh, in in the kind of build up to it. But I think the album itself is a bit more uh, upbeat and more more fun actually. So hopefully by the time things open up and everyone's back to partying and having a good time and weddings and you know it'll be it'll be time for kind of that, that, that sort of mood of music. So let's see how it goes. But yeah, so that that's 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 been. Um, the flavor of it but, but even with the last one actually I, I was I was fortunate enough to have help from a Mickey Mickey and Guru both so Mickey actually helped me write the I actually tricked him <laughs> so oh. Mickey Mickey um Mickey had FaceTime me and we're working on a different song actually and um and then I was like while you're here <laughs> on FaceTime I got this, this song that I'm doing and um I, I, I I'd already composed the the melody and made, made the music but I hadn't I hadn't got the Punjabi hook basically so and he just, I just played it to him and he just literally said it in like five, five minutes, he just, he just sang it. And I was like, okay, cool, let me like write that down quickly. <laughs> so I, so I, I, I tricked him into, into, into doing it for me, but, um, but yeah. And then he obviously, then he finished it off. But yeah, and, and then I, I was struggling with it because I think Punjabi is actually a much harder sounding language than Hindi. So Hindi is a bit soft, I think like as a language. Um, and I've got quite a soft voice. So to sing Punjabi is a whole different vibe. So I actually had to get Guru's um, input as well. So Guru was helping me to, to get that right. So. Oh, so was he helping you like over FaceTime too? Like you would sing just, it? Just like just how to get it like more. I mean, it's still not great probably, but um, but it's uh, better than <laughs> how I would have done it before. So um, yeah, so pretty high profile uh, teachers I had, Mickey, Mickey and Guru both. So that was that was pretty useful. But yeah, and then um, but yeah, so this this the, the next uh, single is is a very different vibe. I won't give away too much, but it's a bit more Hindi and less Punjabi. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I love that. Um, I kind of wish you would tell us who you're collaborating with because I know people will be excited. But yeah, yeah, you you definitely know who they are. As in, you you definitely know who they are. But let's see. What about Jonita? Are you and Jonita gonna get back together? <gasps> maybe, maybe. <laughs> yes. Okay, that yeah. is a yes, by the way, to everybody. If you say maybe. Okay, so other than the new music, then um, I know you're prepping for 2021. So <laughs> what else is coming up for you that you're looking forward to? um just like being out of the house like just being able to have you know have like a normal life I think I think one thing I've realized is I definitely um as a person really need to see family and friends a lot which which, which has been nice actually in a way I, even though my my parents have been kind of shielding on their own I, I've seen them a fair amount but I think I think I realized that you know that is a very crucial part of my life is, is that social life just just seeing friends and being, being able to go out you know and have a good time you know so I think that I'll definitely spend a lot of time doing next year <laughs> lots of lots of the dinners and parties next year and then yeah I think obviously touring touring is the main thing I'm, I'm hoping from around maybe March April we'll be, be back on tour and um the album coming out what else is going on I'm not sure what else is going on next year that's pretty much pretty much it really uh the Olympics is that next year <laughs> I don't think we're gonna have an Olympics I feel like they uh they postponed, it, right? it. They, they postponed it yeah yeah I mean mm. if you want to be at the Olympics perform there we'll take it I mean yeah, if it's not happening there. I love the way I'm always giving you like the highest level to achieve. And I was like, hey, like, calm down, girl. Like, <laughs> collab with Rihanna, do the Olympics. At the then, Olympics. Okay. Yes. All right, fine. Two, okay. two good things to aim for in life. Let's see. I got to be your life coach, right? So I got to like make sure you've got like big goals <laughs> that you can work towards so you don't get bored, right? We don't <laughs> want to be bored anymore. Um, yeah. Okay, so what other things have you been doing during lockdown? Talk to us about that because I know you can't be just doing music. You've been cooking <laughs> a little bit, watching, yeah. like. How have you grown yeah, as a person? So I've, I have binge watched a few uh, series on Netflix. Um, I watched The Crown. Have you seen The Crown? <gasps> I feel like everyone's obsessed with the like English royal family, but like mainly from abroad, like people in America love like Prince Harry and, and, and Diana and stuff. So yeah, anyway, so I, I hadn't seen it. So I watched, I watched the, whole, the whole thing in like a few, few days. <laughs> oh, same. That was pretty good. Season um, four was the best. Actually, I'm not, I have not watched season four. I've, I've watched season one and two, I think. So, yeah. Season I've, four is the best one because that's where a princess die no, enters no, yeah, the yeah. picture. I've heard, I've heard. Um, yeah, so that, that, is, that is the next, maybe maybe next week I'll do that. Um, but yeah, so The Crown, what else have I watched? I watched that Mindy Kaling show. That was pretty, pretty cool. The one, that, the one with the um, South oh. Indian kid. What was that called? Never Have I Ever? Yeah, that, that was pretty, 
pretty big moment I, I felt to have an mm -hmm. entire series purely based around like a South Asian family which was just pretty pretty big big moves mm -hmm. I thought um mm -hmm. other than Netflix yeah I've just been uh, like I said I've been trying to I guess like get more into kind of the whole mindfulness vibe and I read the uh, Jay Shetty book <laughs> so kind of been trying to be more learn to, to be more present and, and kind of uh, appreciate things more in the moment um yeah so I've read a few books watched a few series uh watched a lot of NBA uh when it, when it came back so the NBA playoffs I watched watched every game that, that was fun I'm, I'm I'm quite a vampire so I, I sleep at like five in the morning so it works well because the NBA is on at like UK time it's on at like midnight so I'm able to watch watch all the games which is good uh obviously made the album made some mashups learned how to like use the camera learned how to cook learned how to cut my own hair which I've cut again what yeah you did Mm. It I looks great. Very, if you zoom in, it's not very good on the fade. That's actually pretty bad. But um, yeah. So I, I love how to do a fade. The top bit is really hard. I just kind of randomly just just go go at it and I just yeah I don't know. But um, so yeah, I learned how to cut my own hair. So actually, I learned quite, learned quite a lot to be fair in the last um few months. So you're like a one man guy now. You don't need anyone else. You don't need an assistant. You don't need a hairdresser. Yeah. You don't need other musicians. You can do everything on your own. No, 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 no director, no barber, no cook. <laughs> There you yeah, go. Yeah, so that, that actually has been, I probably have evolved a lot as a human being in, in, in the lockdown, to be fair. So, yeah. I feel like you and Mickey have really become close and really mm -hmm. like uh, yeah. vibe off each other. And then obviously, Guru, you have a great relationship with him. So, uh, just kind of give us an idea because I feel like. <sighs> Artists have been really hit with COVID, right? Like a lot of you guys, yeah. your whole livelihoods have been attached to touring, putting out music. So yeah. I just, it's kind of nice to hear that you guys are still in touch, FaceTiming, supporting each other, still trying to like help each other and collab. Yeah. So what has that been like when you've been talking to other people even? And do you feel like it's brought you guys closer? Yeah, I think, I think, um, I think the last year or two, especially, I've seen a, a very strong bond growing in our scene in, in general. I think there's been a, like a lot, a lot more kind of collaboration in general. Um, there's been a lot more, I guess, a mo lot more socializing outside of, uh, of music, just kind of hanging out together, you know, just, you know, I, I think last year I spent a week staying with, with Mickey in, 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 his, in, his, in his house in, in, in California at the time. And uh, Guru came and stayed with me in Sri Lanka. Like, we, 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 we kind of, spend some real time not just not just you know in the studio but actually just you know doing other stuff and just you know hanging out playing playing like playstation and <laughs> just, just jamming out so i think that that has been a, a nice change i think for me i we used to always treat i guess music industry friends as those friends and then i had my my, my my other like closer friends from like school but actually now i feel like those those have become really really strong friends as well friendships as well so uh who else janita as well janita I, I i'd say has become a a close friend as well. I think things because we all kind of go through something that no one else really can relate to. Really, I think it's something. It's quite a, quite a unique experience. The kind of the, the kind of dual life we have. There's obviously as a, a public public life and public perception of who you are, and then there's obviously the, the kind of the, the more human struggles that we you know. I think we've all had had quite quite a tough few years in general. Um, so yeah, I think I mean this is this, this is the, the kind of the last straw of it, I guess. The the the, the uh, virus but I think in general it's been it's been a hard time but I think that that real strength of kind of knowing that someone else is kind of going through that as well is is nice to have that kind of that kind of that camaraderie with with our other artists so yeah I mean those those guys for sure um even Sanjoy is another really really good mate um so we do we all kind of have these kind of facetimes and and uh zoom calls <laughs> Which are which are fun actually, and it, it's not always it's it's usually it's it's about a song, but it, it becomes more about you know having having a few drinks and, and jamming out as well. So. Excellent, of course. Arjun, also talk about your fans because I know uh, from following you, I've already told you I know your fans are such diehard fans, but I know they have been just. Um, really supportive of you i know every time you know i read the comments on your post they are just sending blessings towards you they're you know they're they feel every emotion for you and i was like you have such a special relationship with these people because a lot of them you don't get to actually meet but they just you know when you're doing well they're like rooting they're excited and when you're kind of having a low moment they just want to protect you and give you extra love so talk about what that means for you mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they're they're amazing. I think I think literally I realized how much I actually rely on 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 their love and support. I I, did, I think as an artist you kind of start to take it for for granted almost like it's just kind of like a given of being a known person. But actually, when you go through some quite 
traumatic things in your life, I, th I think you appreciate how much of a support that actually, that, I mean, your friends and family are great, but actually having that additional layer of support, additional protection, additional bubble of, of, of just po positive vibes that, you know, just going online and seeing a hundred nice, nice things about you, you know, that just really lifts you up. So I think, I think obviously went through quite a dark phase post what happened. Um, and then I think I took about six months off. And then when I came back and I saw all these amazing messages and very kind of like, not just, I think in, in the past it's like, oh, great song or whatever, but this is more like, I don't on a human level, like, you know, I really can, can connect with you and, you know, your songs are helping me get through a tough time or I think that really has, has, has been a, a nice change. I feel like a lot more of a depth of connection with, 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 with them. I mean, I mean, fans or followers or whatever you, you call them. But yeah, I think, I think I definitely feel that connection is a lot, a lot stronger. I think also people, people can, I guess, can, can relate because they've seen a lot more of my personal life. I think I held a lot of it back, as you know, you know, last time I saw you. Um, there's a lot of hidden, I guess, hidden side of my life. I think now everything's out there. I think it actually feels like it's kind of like a relief in some ways just to be able to be, be open about things. And um, so, yeah, definitely feel like they've been a, a real source of strength for me in the last year or so. Yeah, I can imagine yeah. because, mm -hmm. like I said, um, sometimes you just want to know that people care. And I was like, yeah. I love that they're Amazing. taking their time out to make sure that they don't even know you. They, honestly, they don't even know if you'll see the message, but they yeah. just want to be like, hey, I'm like, I remember some messages were making me really like emotional. They're like, I prayed for you today. You yeah. know, like it breaks yeah. my heart that you're going through this. And honestly, like, wow, it actually does actually change your whole mood. Like I can be in a really bad mood. I go online, see all this amazing support. And it's just, yeah, it's an amazing lifeline. Sure. Yeah. And I think, you know, especially with COVID, you know, you're talking about appreciation. I think that's always just the human spirit to be like, you know, we focus so much on like touring and the next single and having the next success and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And it's the end of the day, it's like just human connection to say, let's just want good for each other. And like, if someone's down, let's pick them up. And if someone's doing well, let's celebrate their success. Like, I just really like that we're kind of appreciating the core. Yes, exactly. Exactly. I think there's so much more to life than what you do as a job. I mean, like, I mean, obviously you're, you're you're known as a singer, but actually, I mean, you are a person in the, the day. I think I think that that human connection I, I felt a lot a lot more strongly of late. So it definitely has been nice for sure. Mm. And I really enjoyed that you used your platform to educate people on what happened. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm glad to see that. Are you planning on using your platform to continue to support other causes or anything like that? Yes. So obviously we've, we've, we've done, done a few charity uh, events. We did that big, big concert in, in February. Um, we're going to hopefully do, yeah, I think at least once a year, something, maybe not a concert, but it might be like a you know, charity walk or something like that for, 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 for cry. So I've actually been made an ambassador of that charity. So it's, it's, it's called Cry, which basically deals with um, heart issues in, in young people. So quite, I mean, there's some crazy amount of, of I should know the, the stats, but I think it's like, one in 300 or something young people have un undiagnosed heart, heart conditions. I think that's, it is actually a massive issue in the UK and, and in our community as well, because being, being South Asian, we have we eat a lot of unhealthy food, <laughs> have a lot of diabetes, et cetera. So I think, yeah, there's, there's definitely heart issues in our community as well. So, so yeah, definitely going to do, 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 do more and more events, um, raise awareness if I can. I want to ask you, I know uh, you did a lot of, um... Uh, I guess media to educate people about cry. Did you get any messages from people saying like, you know what, I because of you, I actually went and got a check yeah, because of loads, you, like actually, a lot, yeah. And I think I was shocked how many how many hadn't had it done actually. So yeah, it was it was it was really nice in the UK especially. But yeah, I think I, I, and I think what's nice about having a platform is you, you can actually see a tangible effect of it, and that that's amazing to be fair. So yeah, that that was a nice a nice feeling for sure. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, it's just such a beautiful thing that you took such a dark period in your time and tried to have something good come out of it. So to raise awareness, who knows how many people you're actually helping out there. So I'm really yeah. proud of you. That's great. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so you said we're not sure if there's another concert, so there's nothing to promote yet. Like, maybe you'll be doing something around February um, again. Yeah, we'll I look think, out for well, it. let's see. I mean, to be fair, that was that concert was a, was a very hard thing to to pull off. I mean, as 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 as, as I've actually experienced the other side of it now because I'm I'm usually like the like diva artist who comes and performs and then leaves. But actually, being the promoter of the show, uh, organizing a concert with like that many artists, it's just such a headache, man. Honestly, it was it was <laughs> traumatic. It was about three months of like nonstop work, and then promoting and marketing and doing all the media and you know you know trying to do like posters and all this kind of stuff and it was it was it was a lot so I learned a lot about marketing events I learned a lot about kind of I guess how hard it is to work with artists <laughs> I'm joking no, as, in, as in like 
as amazing as artists are, we're all quite like creative people. So we're all quite flaky. We're all quite like head in the clouds. You know, we don't really care about like the more, I guess, practical stuff in life, right? So organizing people, I mean, it, it, is, it is hard. It's really hard. I think I, I've learned how, how hard it is to like be a manager of an artist too. So yeah, definitely like, yeah. But I think, I think if you can try and do something, maybe like a concert or something that is, a, I guess, a post-corona thing as well that we can try and kind of bring, bring some joy uh, back. I actually did a did a, a drive through concert in I think September, um, which was like a, everyone kind of drove their cars into like a big parking lot basically, and then we performed on the stage. That was pretty dope. That was pretty cool. Um, so I might try and do something kind of inventive like that. Maybe bring 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 some other artists together and do like a joint show. That'd be fun. Um, but yeah, at the moment nothing really in the pipeline as yet. But yeah, I'll let you know. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, thank you so much for chatting with us. Before I let you go, um, any messages to your fans? Yes, thank you. As always, honestly, like, thank you so much. I love you guys a lot, as you know. Uh, big shout out to all the, all the fan pages and all the meme pages and all the, like, just generally nice people out there in the world. So thank you once again for, for, for all the love. And hopefully next year, if the album comes out, hopefully back on tour, world tour. So see you guys in the flesh, I'm hoping. Back to being able to, like, hug fans and stuff I mean it's been a weird time I haven't even hugged my mum let alone a fan but um, yeah so next year hopefully back to normal let's see fingers crossed ladies and gentlemen I hope you enjoyed that interview with Arjun now if you want to see more exclusive content like this and more interviews with Arjun be sure to subscribe to my channel also be sure to give this video a like and also leave me a comment below thanks for watching guys I will see you in my next video